What's going on everybody? It's been a long time since I made a somewhat quality video, how-to video, but I'm doing lower ball joints in this 2000 Silverado that I picked up last October. This is that Arizona truck that has absolutely no rust. So to, to get to the point, one thing I can't stand is videos that, you know, they spend 12 minutes getting to the point. On a two-wheel drive uh, GMT 400 platform, the lower ball joints are riveted. These are an absolute bitch to get out. Some guys have done it before, like, oh, it's not so bad. It, I mean, once you've done it a couple times, it really isn't. But these rivets are an absolute bitch to get out. You know, at first I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm going to take my angle grinder and just grind the heads off and just smash them out with a hammer and like a hand chisel. No. So you grind them flat, you hit them with an air chisel, do they come out? No. What you need to do is you take your drill here, and I think that's like a 3 8 bit, lube them up real good, and you're, after you grind the heads off, you're going to want to drill about halfway into the rivet. You're still not going to be able to get them out with a hammer and a chisel. At that point, you need old air chisel to knock them out the rest of the way. So I got to repeat, in the beginning, you get the rivet, you grind the head off, flush, then you're going to drill halfway down. I mean, maybe you don't need to grind, maybe you can miss a step, you can cheat, but regardless, you're going to need to drill with a big, at least a 3-8 bit, halfway down into the ball joint itself, before you can hit it with your air chisel. You could try to smack it with a regular chisel, but you're going to be here for a while, and you better have a friend holding it while you hit it with a 20-pound sledge. So this is my quick, hopefully educational how-to video for today.